Hi everyone. Okay, I've got a quick video uh, to show you of how I store my paper scraps um, because you know, probably like everyone else, I cannot seem to throw scraps away, no matter you know how small they are. Sometimes, because you never know when you might just need that little tiny piece of uh, paper. But here is a um, one, two, three, four, five, a six drawer. Oh, if I would have read, <laughs> um, a six drawer cart. I've kept the wheels on it, and oh, and the dust. Excuse me, I haven't dusted in here for a little while, as you can tell. But uh, if you overlook the dust, I will show you um, how I store my scraps in these uh, drawers. On the side here, I don't know if you can read it real well, I've marked them um, um, just, so I guess, not necessarily for me, but like if the kids come in and they need some uh, paper or something, they know where to come and uh, get it and hopefully they put it back in the right place. So I've organized it, like the top drawer has my white, yellow, and orange papers and even though they're in the drawer I still tend to for the smaller ones put them in these baggies and then um, I also keep my flesh color up here as well just because I guess when I think of white and flesh um, I just want to keep those together so I have that drawer and then the next drawer is my pinks reds and purples and um, and then like the bigger pieces that don't fit in the baggies go underneath here so and then the next one is my oops sorry the blues and greens as you can see yeah I had this is just you know a little bit of the green alone so I'm trying to come up with possibly another way uh, for right now um, you know this seems to be the easiest although for some reason even though I have this right where I can see it all the time I still tend to forget about my scraps um, you know just one of those things okay and then next drawer is my brown green my brown grays and blacks uh, not a whole lot of gray um, but that's okay you know just a little tiny bit and then the black and a lot of brown um, pieces there. So, and then the last two drawers, what I did, let's see if I can get down here, um, is like my decorative papers that that I haven't uh, kept with necessarily, like the the books that have come with. But a lot of these were loose papers anyway and I never did have a book because my mom and I share um, a lot of times out of the same book you know she'll get the big uh, die cuts with the view packages and then we split split them so I um, you know that's how I started out doing so I didn't keep them but this is kind of how I keep this drawer let me see if I can show you like this one uh, and these are those uh, protective sheets you know for your three ring binders you know and uh, I just keep them in there and this one holds like school and sports uh, papers and then this one I have for uh, my animal prints and then this one is just some miscellaneous baby kid fun prints and this one is family and, and like friends sets oh and then there's like traveling papers in there because I think it you know family um, this is for holidays and birthdays and here is some more birthday related stuff and then this one is like holiday Halloween Thanksgiving Christmas type papers in there and then the very last one 
is which needs to be gone through once again oh, sorry for the glare but this is like flowers and like um, oh what do I call it plaids and, and stripes and things of things like that you know the flower prints and um, you know there's just like I said this one definitely needs to be gone back through um, I just kind of shove things in there a lot of times but anyway that's how I keep um, you know my scrap papers and since I'm right down here and it won't take very long um, I also have this cart of, uh, of six compartments and what's nice about these these have the um, you know it, it closes and this is how I keep some of my other papers especially like my loose papers that um, my mom and I have shared and this is um, what I started doing before I had gotten into the books now there are a, a couple books inside some of these but like the top one I keep for family and sports related things this this compartment here is just basically miscellaneous stuff that just keeps getting tossed all around this one um, is let me see this one is full of like flower well and then there's some other things there too um, flower papers you know things of that nature things that go together uh, can't do this with one hand it's kind of hard and then sorry about that and this is all summer related papers this one is for my fall and Halloween papers and then down on the bottom is uh, my Christmas now the Christmas one because I I don't have a lot of Christmas papers I also went ahead and I started shoving like oh Oh, like stickers and, and die cuts um, pieces like that that go along with Christmas because you know my Christmas pack um, container isn't isn't as full and so I, I'm able to keep my stickers and things like that in there so anyway there's two ways of keeping my papers for now and uh, hope you've enjoyed this sorry about all the shakiness and and um, everything I just wanted to try to get through it real quick with you so anyway hope you've enjoyed as always thanks for watching see you soon bye